All right, I promised you that I would prove that the area of any triangle can be found by doing a, a half times a times b times the sine of c, okay? I'm gonna prove that in this video. It's gonna take, well, I should be finished in about two minutes, all right? So here we have a non-right angle triangle. And let me just uh, name my vertices, A, B, C, capitals, and then there are teammates, lowercase, A, B, C, okay? Now, usually you would have to do, if that is the height, yeah, you will say, well, it's C times H, yeah, C times H divided by two. Yeah, that would be the area of a triangle uh, normally. But now, what is, H. Now, for instance, if I look at uh, this angle, yeah, then I'm going to say that the sine of B is the opposite H over the hypotenuse A. Yeah, so I'm looking now at this right angle triangle where I say that the sine of B is the opposite over the hypotenuse. And if I rearrange that, if I make H the height of the subject, I say that equals then A times the sine of B. Okay, and as we said before, if the area is a half times C times H, and now I say, well, H is the same as A times the sine of B, that makes a half times C times A times the sine of B. And if I write down a little bit nicer, a half AC sine of B. Now, I know you're going to say now, yeah, but hang on a minute, that's AC sine of B and that's AB sine of C. So that would be different then. No, that is exactly the same. I could have just changed, call this A, that B and that C or whatever, and I would have gotten those letters. It's important that you realize, <coughs> excuse me, that it is a half times a length times a length times the sine of that angle, which is not the teammate of any of these two lengths. Eh? So AB sine C or AC sine B times a half, yeah? Or AB uh, sine C, oh, that's that one, sorry. Or you could say um, BC times the sine of A divided by two, yeah? So it's all the same. So it's still based upon this formula, it's still based upon base times heights divided by two, where the base and the height make a 90 degree angle. However, this will work for any triangle, yeah? Half times A times B times the sine of C. So it's time for some example questions now. 